In this video, we're talking about what internet speed you need to live stream. Hello, my name is David Foster, The Impartial Geek, and I wanna help you create awesome content. So one question I get asked all the time is, what internet speed do I need to send out a really nice live stream? And to that I say, it depends on what you're wanting to send. Now I want you to remember something right here at the beginning. Upload speed is what matters when you're live streaming, not download. So when I say upload speed, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to speedtest.net and you're gonna test it, and you're gonna just tell me in the comments below what your upload speed is. I don't care about your download right now upload because I'll ask people all the time, what's your internet speed, do you wanna stream? And they'll be like, oh, I got it, it's like 600. Like, okay, is that download or upload? I, I don't know, do a speed test. Oh, yeah, 600 down, five up. Yeah, okay, that changes things. Most of the Comcast packages that exist today, you can get up to 35 megs upload. So try to max that out. If you're lucky and you live in an area where that you have fiber, get fiber. Fiber is more reliable, it's more consistent, uh, I actually have Comcast installing a two gigabit up and down uh, direct fiber line into my house this next week. I'm really excited about that. It's like a direct connection. I'm gonna have so much internet, I might share it with my neighbors. I don't know, like I'll, instead of taking a fruitcake to their house, I'm gonna walk over and be like, you guys want some internet? <laughs> I've got plenty. I probably won't really do that because they'd probably think I was crazy. Now, I recommend that you send at least 720 uh, at 60 frames per second. And for a stream like that, you're gonna need about 3,000 kilobits per second, which is three megs. So if you've got three megs, that means you need at least five megabits per second upload speed from your internet provider. I would say if you're gonna be trying to send that much, you want at least 10. So I tell people the minimum that I think you should have to be a live streamer is 10 megs. Can you get by with less? Sure, we can always get by with less. Use what you have. But if you absolutely have to, you can cut your stream back to like 540, I believe it is, or whatever. You can cut it back, it doesn't have to be 720 but just set it to whatever internet speed you have. So let's say you have five megabits per second upload speed. What I would do is I would set it to 560 at 60 frames per second, and I would send about 2,500 kilobits per second or 2.5 megs per second out, whether you're using vMix, OBS, or whatever. But in an ideal world, you wanna have a minimum of 10. So if you're wanting to send a really nice 1080 signal out to whatever streaming platform you're on, you're gonna want to send it at 1080, 60 frames per second, at 6,000 kilobits per second. Now that will cover Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube will all accept 6,000 kilobits per second. YouTube will accept as much as 36,000, Twitch as high as 8,000, and Facebook as high as 12,000. Now on Facebook, you have to be a game page and have access to the 1080 streaming in order to get that higher bitrate allowance. So with software like vMix, I can send a stream to three different places. I wanna have a minimum 100 megabits per second if I'm gonna go to YouTube at 6,000, Facebook at 6,000, and Twitch at 6,000. That's 18,000 kilobits per second or 18 megs that I would be using. So 100 is overkill, but you have to remember, your internet fluctuates, especially when you're on Wi-Fi. It fluctuates up and down a lot. So that's why you wanna compensate for that by having more than enough. Like I always say, it's better to have too much than not enough. And that applies to everything, food, whatever. Now what's gonna happen is if you only have, let's say you have five megabit per second upload from your internet provider, and you try to do a four megabit per second stream, well, if you fluctuate down below that, let's say you're, you're at five and you drop to three. Have you guys ever seen those streams that lock up and they do, and then all of a sudden it does that? That's because you've got a pipe and there's data going through this pipe. Well, if the data gets stuck because you it, it closes a little bit, that data's piling up and then once it opens back up, it sends everything that's been backed up through really fast. It's like it's catching up. That's, that's, it's not literally pushing physical, but that's the, the best analogy. And wow, this reminds me of a Steve Martin joke. Hey, I'm gonna be out in the parking lot after the show if anybody wants to do a little. I think that was Steve Martin that said that. All right, so hopefully that helps you know what speeds you need for internet in order to live stream. Let me know in the comments again what your upload speed is. I'm curious. Let me know what city and state you live in, who the provider is, and what your speeds are. And that way, if anybody else is in here and they're kind of like thinking that they have the, the fastest speed available, maybe they don't. I happen to find a, a provider 
uh, named Frontier in a small little neighborhood that I lived in where I thought Comcast was the only game in town. I could only get 35 up from Comcast, whereas from Frontier I could get 300 up and down direct fiber. So I went with that and had a much better experience than I would have had with Comcast. And I didn't even know they existed. All right, that's all I got. If you're somebody who's looking to create content, get over to the creatortoolkit.com and I'll teach you how to start a YouTube channel, do a podcast or live stream. Which one? Pick, take your pick. Which one you want to be? You want to be a YouTuber? You want to be a podcaster? You want to do all of it? Huh? Do you want to do all of it? Get over there, creatortoolkit.com. Go on. I'm going to go over there right now.